with us now from Washington is Susan Page, USA Today's Washington Bureau Chief. Susan, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with North Korea. If, as, as you heard Secretary Mattis say, the military options would be catastrophic, what options does the administration have here? Well, we've seen President Trump put a lot of faith, a lot of pressure on the Chinese to act to reign in North Korea. Not clear how willing China is, willing, is, is to do that, nor whether it would work, but that is seen as a more promising option than military action, which, as we, as we just heard, uh, would put millions of South Koreans at risk. Susan, the other big story this weekend, Jared Kushner and reports that he tried to set up the secret back channel with the Russians. We have heard the president defend at least his honor. What does this mean for Kushner going forward? Well, I think it uh, raises serious problems for Jared Kushner. We see defense by, on the part of the White House of the president's son-in-law. But outside experts describe this as quite an extraordinary thing to propose using Russian secret equipment to communicate in a way that presumably was de de designed to keep U.S. intelligence agencies from knowing what was going on. I think we have not heard the end of the story. It becomes part of this cloud of investigation involving Russia that continues to, to loom over the administration. Susan, does the fact that the former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, was involved in this back channel negotiation. Does that make it more problematic for the White House and for Kushner? Yes, I think it does because we know that Michael Flynn has become a target, a subject of the FBI investigation and of the congressional inquiries. We know that he had contact that seems inappropriate with the Russians. He was taking money and not reporting it. So he is at the center of this storm. And the question is, is he the target or is he the, is he the source that will flip to tell us more about what was really going on in the Trump administration and the, the, the Trump campaign? When, with regard to Russia. Susan, I want to ask you about these remarks that the German Chancellor Angela Merkel made yesterday, uh, saying that she said, we Europeans must really take our destiny into our own hands, that basically the post-World War II order is to some extent over. How significant is it, in your view, to hear the Chancellor of Germany say that? You know, Anthony, we've been looking at this nine-day trip. The White House is portrayed it as being very successful. But I think with the benefit of some history, this will be the most significant development that comes out of the president's first foreign trip. And that is this deterioration in the architecture that has kept the peace largely, uh, the U.S.-European uh, alliance, NATO. Uh, now we have the German chancellor saying that no longer, they can no longer rely on it. Europe has to rely on itself. This is a fundamental shift and a deterioration in the role of the United States and of the American president when it comes to our traditional alliance. But Susan, how much of this is also Merkel trying to just speak to people that she is trying to have reelect her at this point? Well, she is up for reelection. Uh, that is that is true, and all politics is local, as we know. <laughs> but I think that what she is saying is very consistent with what we also hearing from the leaders of France and other leaders in Europe that they were shaken by what they heard and saw with President Trump's visit on a, on a variety of issues, including Russia and including also the Paris Climate Accords. Big decision on that coming up this week from the White House. Susan Page, thank you. Thank you.